You may be wondering why I'm driving in reverse and not paying attention. Well, it's because the BRZ is back. And today we're gonna try to figure something out because, well, just give me a moment. I'll update you once we get in the vehicle with my brother. It seems the time has come for him to get rid of it. And I wouldn't be a good person if I didn't do this one, one thing, and that would be to tell him to take it to CarMax and maybe if they give him a good value, trade it in and get something with a sweet warranty. That would be convenient. Probably not the case. Only one way to find out. Why don't we hop in that vehicle with my brother, Jason, and get going with the rest of this video because I'm sure it's gonna be lovely. This is the Subaru BRZ that had the blown engine and yeah, we'll, we'll see where this takes us because this, this will probably be a total flop. I'm very surprised, I'm very curious. I'm sure you are too, which is why we're gonna find out. <laughs> I should I should probably park my car somewhere that's not not in the middle of the of the driveway. Yeah, let's let's try that one more time. Open up your trunk. How do I do that? <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm kidding. What's in here? Any humans? Any bodies? Oh. Oh, you're. Oh, you're taking it to the car wash to wash it. It's in good shape. I would say very good condition. Not perfect. Very good. Right here. Here. That's not my fucking key. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, you get some sandpaper and just use that brush. That's what everyone says. It's really good for the clear coat. Yeah, the sandpaper works really good. It you won't make, scratch you. You gotta get 80 grit. Ooh, a Hummer. For whoever buys this car, I just want you to know, he's he's getting into the the, the nooks and crannies with a toothbrush. Look at that. Look at that. You can't find this. No dealer, no dealer will service you this well. Isn't that right, Jason? That's 100 right. percent No, no dealer. Yeah. Realistically, all jokes aside, this, this is a very clean car. It's honestly. It's it's kind of surprising how well kept this is inside. Which is for being five years old? Yeah, it's yeah. what, a 2012? 2013. So I it's bought it six years old. Well, yeah. A brand new clutch, brand new motor. Why is that? Let's let's explain that right now. In case anyone is new to the channel and doesn't understand what, what this car is symbolizing. The motor blew for no reason at all, it just spun two bearings because it's a Subaru. So Subaru put a whole new motor in it. Eventually, everything is brand new. New cams and everything. Delightful. New clutch too. New clutch, new compression plate, new everything. Look how, look how clean that is. My finger is spot free. Yeah, get the fuck nothing, off. nothing on my finger. <laughs> clean Carfax too, yeah? Yep. No accidents, nothing. nothing. This thing's a certified beauty. I, still have the player. I should probably take that off now. Uh, no, it's, it's good. I, mean, I would trim it, maybe, perhaps. You're basically getting a brand new car. I don't know how else to sell this. Destroyer Gray Challenger, it's a scat pack. Going through the automatic car wash. My man. What do you have to say about that? My man! Two liters of pure fury. And doom. And doom. Fury doom! Yeah. To catch you off to speed if you haven't already been caught up to speed. Essentially what is happening is my brother, Jace, bought a car. Say hi, Jace. Hi. It's a Subaru BRZ, it's a 2013 BRZ Limited, and it's pretty sweet, he likes it, he's just ready to get a different vehicle, and, well, also, the engine blew up, side note, engine blew up, spun a rod bearing. Last year. La last year, yes, and that is very unfortunate. What we're doing today is we're going to CarMax, get this appraised, uh, just to see what it is. It might show up on the Carfax, whether or not it blew up or not. Not blew up, but whatever. I don't know how they notate or denote whatever, how they factualize well, it. It doesn't matter though, because it's a whole brand new motor. So whoever, if I look, there's an arm hanging out of that. Oh my God. Um, it was fake. It had to be fake. That couldn't be real. <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I know it's fake. Um, <laughs> just just got to clarify that. If I wanted that. to give it to CarMax, 
It wouldn't Masters. matter because whoever gets it would have a brand new engine, a long block, new heads, new everything. Yes. New clutch. Yeah, so new fluid. in essence, we're new just trying battery. to get a nice appraisal He's value. Battery. He's probably going to sell it for 20, 30 percent over of whatever they recommend. Probably going to get it appraised at a few other dealerships too. It's just heartwarming to take your car to CarMax, especially if you're making a YouTube video. Yeah. On it. I would feel feel like I would I just wouldn't be resourceful if, if we didn't do this. Why do I have headphones in my ears? Yeah, so we're gonna go there, head there. Uh, he just washed the car. It's spick and span, nice and shiny, very, very clean. He's in the Might switch to my iPhone if they don't let me film at CarMax. You know CarMax is kind of finicky with that stuff. So maybe, maybe just next clip, whatever what we get to think. is gonna be on my iPhone. So I might get I might get the beauty shot out of the way and tell you all to subscribe down below, red rectangular button. We blow cars up if you're interested in that kind of not really, but no, we don't. watch me blow my cars up. Now no one's gonna wanna buy it. No, it's got fresh everything, so you're gonna wanna well, we are gonna wanna buy it. As I was saying, most aggressive YouTube channel in wow, North America. Wow, it's got 1,565 miles on the brand new motor. Yeah. All from Subaru. Solid. One big thing we left out was Subaru had this vehicle for about almost a solid year, seven months. Off and off. They replaced the short block, wasn't good, wasn't cutting it, still messed up, and... Because I told them to replace everything. Yeah, just everything was so corrupt. they went back again a second time. And they replaced everything. everything. again. And here we are. Like the video, too. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, do it. Oh, the holy grail of trade-in yeah. offers. Here we are. The Max. The Car Max. The Max of Car. It's not least, right? No, it's fine. That's what's not least. Is there a tower if broken? So what do you look for when you do these appraisals? We're looking for anything that would just be uh, new to us in a sense. So, prior paintwork, any evidence of accidents, anything that would compromise the vehicle structurally, uh, anything mechanically with it. Our first job is to figure out what's going on with the car, what determine what we can do with the car. Are we going to retail it? Are we going to send it to an auction? Whatever the case may be. Yeah. And then once we figure out what we can do with the car, then it determines basically what the offer is for the car based on what we can do with it. Alright, so we just want you to give it a little value. Yeah. We just finished up the appraisal process, process. Chase, how much did they offer you? What do you think? What do you guys think? Comment below. Pause the video real quick unless you already did it ahead of time. Let us know. That is a massive sunroof. Guess which car we're in too. How much do you think they, they offered us? Chase, what do you think? What they what they give you?